congratulations for being honored tonight with the literary Thank you. award. I'm thrilled. Hey, so um, take, taking you back when, when you first wrote that book, I mean, could you talk about the, you know, basically the process or what you were thinking when, when you were going through that, uh, you know, writing? Uh, writing which book? Uh, I the mean, orchid. oh, the orchid thief. Okay, because I've written a lot of books now, believe it or oh, not. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I it was a real journey. I heard about this story in South Florida. I couldn't figure out what what was going on, and I knew nothing about any aspect of the story. And I just wanted to find out what what was going on. Why would someone steal orchids? Yeah. So I went down there I kept going back and going back and slowly learning about that world that I was kind of peer, peering into I had no idea how I was going to end up writing it because it was a pretty eccentric story so I I just kept waiting until it kind of revealed itself to me as a story about passion and pursuing a passion against all logic. So when they adapted it, because we're here at the Scripter Awards, they adapted right. it into adaptation, which y you you are played in that film. I am indeed. So tell, tell us about your initial thoughts when, when, the, when you heard the news that they were going to do that. I thought it was insane. And I, my first thought was, no, you can't. And I said no, actually, and I meant it. And I, they kept coming back and saying, come on, it's really great. It'll be a lot of fun. And I kept saying no. And one day, I don't know what happened, but I woke up and thought, okay, all right, I'll go along with it. Certainly when I read the script, I thought it was insane, and I couldn't imagine how it would work as a film. Mm -hmm. It made no sense. The first time I saw a rough cut, it still made no sense. So all, all along, I was kind of... I had suspended disbelief mm -hmm. um, and of course I think it's a brilliant movie and I've seen it probably 18 times at this point and it just keeps getting better it, it became a favorite for many people of course yeah it, it's a brilliant brilliant film I don't think we'll ever see another movie that that contemplates and considers the challenge of art versus commerce quite the way that yeah. movie does. And uh, and you said you have other books because she she have written other books. <laughs> I've written nine books, um, including one that came out fairly recently Let's called The yeah. Library Book, um, which is about the largest library fire in the history of the United States, which occurred here in L.A. And it was an effort on my part to figure out what happened, why, and how the library recovered. Hopefully a movie, right? <laughs> Television, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, hey, congratulations. I know there's a lot of people wanting to talk to you, but congratulations. This is your night. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, nice talking to thank you. you.